What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today we are doing a video in a different part of the apartment. Hope you don't mind. But that aside, we are here to talk about the Google Pixelbook pen loop. And that is what this is right here. So we're gonna go ahead, open this, and just show how it works. I got this thing in the mail last week, but I wanted to wait to do it for everyone who may have not gotten it yet and show you what it looks like and show you how to apply it. That's what I've got the pixel book sitting here for. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. So as you can see, things are gonna be pretty simple here. We've just got an envelope with the Google G logo on it. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up, slide it out. And that is what we are going to have in here. It looks like it's going to be held on with adhesive, 3M adhesive. And there aren't going to be really any instructions here. It's just gonna show a picture. You got the pixel book there, of course. So of course, this is what I was pretty much expecting. It would be applied with adhesive. And you could have this in any color you like as long as it was this color. So this should be pretty simple to apply. So let's go ahead and try it out. I'm just going to peel this off. Now this here is a nice material. It's kind of like a faux leather material. And this here is just stretchy so that you can fit the Pixelbook pen in there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that really quick. Okay, so I've got the Pixelbook pen right there, and I just wanna put this in here just for demonstration. So this is going to fit in here really snug, actually. That's gonna just fit right in there like that. And I figured this would be the best way to show it because once I have it on the Pixelbook, it may be kind of hard to show exactly. But yeah, this here is a nice tight fit. I'm pulling on it pretty good and it, I mean, it does move if I pull on it really good, but it's in there nice and snug. I don't feel like this is going to fall out at all. So I'm gonna refer to this and put the Pixelbook pen loop on the side that is shown on this picture and we will give it a try. So again, the instructions don't tell us where to put this. Now I do want to show people, you can't put it on the keyboard area because obviously it cover up your keyboard keys and you can't put it up here either. It interferes with the hinge there. Plus it's too wide and it would still cover up a keyboard key. So I think what we're going to have to do is go on the underside of the laptop here, the two-in-one, some people call it, and it could probably go anywhere along the underside there where you'd feel comfortable. So I'm gonna flip this over. Okay, so I've got my pixel book flipped over here and we are going to be applying the pen loop anywhere along the edge here. Now the important thing to remember is if you have a skin on the underside here like I do, this being on here, if you ever do wanna remove it, it may damage the skin. Just keep that in mind. Also, before we go ahead and apply this, we're going to want to clean this off. Now, I don't like to use rubbing alcohol on any of this. I just use glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth, and I just spray some glass cleaner on the microfiber cloth, kind of just rub it together. You don't want your electronics to get really wet. And then I just kind of wipe it off here. Now, while this is finishing up drying here, I kind of wanted to show off just how thin this is on the pixel book. Now, as you can see, that's going to be pretty thin. What we're going to be concerned about is if it's going to sit lower than this riser here and this riser here. And it's going to be really close, as you can see there. Now, the thing to remember is I still have the adhesive on here. So possibly when I take that off, it's going to make it sit lower it'll be closer okay so this is pretty dry now and i want to put it somewhere where the pen is not going to be all the way at the top here or at the bottom so i think it's going to be perfect right about there i'm going to try to remember where that was and let's see if this sounds pleasurable here let's see i don't even know if that's a word but i said it oh that was so good so we're gonna go ahead and apply this about where I want it. And I'm gonna let it stick out here because there is a little hump here. 
So I'm gonna just let that stick out just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty straight. So I will push that on here and I'm just gonna do a test here. And I'm not gonna hold this because that's cheating. I'm not gonna do one of these and put this in because that's not how we would do it. I'm going to just put the pen in here. Okay, so far so good. All right, and that actually fits in there pretty good. And I'm gonna pull it out, but I'm also going to just let the button naturally interfere with it and see if that causes us any issues. And it doesn't. So, so far, this is looking pretty good. What do you think, Neo? So here I have my nice executive office solutions laptop stand. I'll post a link in the video for that if you're interested. But as you can see on this side here of the Pixelbook, we've got the pen loop and I'm just going to set this on here so we can see if it's going to sit flush. And it's not exactly flush. It, it's not terrible, but it's not exactly flush. There, it's, It is a little higher up on this side because of the pen loop versus on the other side. So it's kind of sitting a little crooked, not extremely noticeable, but if you are paying attention, you may just notice it. I wanted to see if I could get a better shot here. As you can see, the pen loop is in the front and one of the risers right underneath there, you could see. And if I push on this a little bit, you'll see that riser will actually make contact. So again, it's not terrible, but it is noticeable if you're really picky about details. Now, I will say the pen going in is kind of weird. It's gonna take some practice. It does go in there though, holds in there really good. It actually looks decent. And I'm gonna see if I can get another angle here posted in this shot as well. But yes, it actually looks decent here. Um, but taking it out is going to be a lot easier because obviously when you're going to put it in, you're kind of fighting to get started and then kind of works its way in there. I gotta say, it, it does the job. I know why they did this because obviously a lot of people were complaining there was no place to store the pen. Now, I do want to let people know if you're still interested in getting this, it was free from Google and I'm going to put the link in this video here. You can click on it, it's going to be in the corner and you can still order this it looks like. The promotional page is still active, I actually checked it today. So go ahead, try that out, see if it works. And it took me about, I, I can't even remember, maybe a week, two weeks to get it. But yes, it does the job. Of course, you've got something that sticks out here that is going to be the con. But if you're looking for something free that is going to hold your pen, this here is going to do the job. It actually works really good. Despite it being held on by adhesive, I don't feel like pulling it out or putting it in is going to cause it to rip off. But again, if you have a skin on the underside of your pixel book, something to keep in mind, you may not want to do this, especially if you bought an expensive skin. Some of these skins are $29 or more. So when it comes to removing this, you may damage your skin. So keep that in mind. But will I be using this? I think I'm going to give it a try. What I fear is most likely going to happen is I'm going to continue to try and use it, but this is going to get stuck on something and it's going to get peeled off or it's just going to fall off. I'm going to lose it somewhere. But yes, I'm going to try it out and see how it's going to work. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And if you can, hit that subscribe button. It'll support the channel so we can put out more videos. And until next time, Leon checking out.